You're welcome, our dear viewers. And as I told you, we are going to look at the initial rate method in determining the orders of reaction, deducing the rate equation, and calculating the rate constant. So uh, when we talk about the initial rate method, here you're given the initial rate of a certain reaction, and we can use this method to, de to find the orders of reaction with respect to each uh, reactant meaning that in this case, we are going to be having reactants more than one. And then the overall order also can be obtained by, by, summing, uh, by summing up the individual orders. Now, also, this uh, direct law can be deduced from which direct law we can get the rate constant. What I want you to know in this method is that uh, the concentration of only one reactant whose order is to be determined is changing while the other reactant concentrations are kept constant. Therefore, it requires more than one reactant. We are given uh, a certain reaction where we have different reactants, but then when we say calculate the order or determine the order of reaction with respect to reactant A, it means that its concentration is changing while the concentration of the others are kept constant. Then also, uh, we need to know that uh, for this type of reaction, like for the zero order, for the zero order type of reactions, you need to know that for zero order reactions, the moment you have the concentration of a reactant, there is no effect on the initial rate because we say that uh, it is independent, the concentration is independent of the concentration. Or rather, we say that the rate of reaction is independent of the concentration. So anything you do to concentration of the reactant for zero order, it won't change the rate of reaction. So that is what we need to know. Then too, uh, we also need to know that, um, uh, we also need to know that for this case also, if it is a first order reaction, when you, whatever action you do is the very action that happens to the initial rate. For example, when you have the concentration of a reactant, the initial rate also gets halved. When you, when you reduce it by a quarter, or when you multiply by a quarter, also the, rate, the initial rate is, uh, gets to a quarter. When you double the concentration, the initial rate also gets doubled. When you triple, rather when you treble the concentration, also the initial rate gets trebled. When you quadruple the concentration, also the initial rate gets quadrupled. For the second order, these things, this summary here is going to enable us to determine the orders of reaction, even when you're not given, uh, when you're not given too much we're not given too much values to think about when you're not given too much values to think about. Now for the second order, when you have the concentration of the reactant, the initial rate gets multiplied by a quarter, okay? Or uh, it is divided by four. But when it is by a quarter, it is divided by one over eight. When it is by two, it gets multiplied by four. When it is by three, when you when you uh, when you increase the concentration by three, the initial rate will be increased by six. Times six will be multiplied by six. Don't say it will be increased by. When you say increased by, it means you are adding. So it will be multiply, uh, multiplied by six. And when you increase it by uh, when you multiply this one by four, or when you quadruple, when you double, it gets quadrupled. When you treble, it gets multiplied by six. When you quadruple, it gets multiplied by eight. All right, so now having all this at hand, having all this at hand, we can calculate some of the numbers that involve what we have staged here. And uh, that is why we are going to master this thing from. But you need to know that the, uh, for this particular case, you're given experiments, different experiments are carried out 
And with these different uh, experiments, you're given concentrations of each reactant at different concentration and then the initial rate. After which we can use, after which we can use that information to determine the orders of reactions. Let's see how we go about it. Question one. Uh, question one is saying various concentrations of X and Y. We are reacted. at a constant temperature the table below shows the initial concentrations of X and Y and their initial rates. So we are going to have experiment concentration of X Concentration of Y and the initial rate. Uh, so, what we are going to do. These values we are given, we have experiments one, two, and three. So in experiment one, concentration of X is 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 3.5 times 10 to the power negative four. Here we have experiment two, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 1.4, and send to the power negative three. Experiment three, you have 0 0.8, 0 0.4, 5.6, exponent negative three. A part of the question state. The order of reaction with respect to X and Y. Roman one, X, Roman two, Y. Which one, half a mark, half a mark. B, give reasons. for your answers in A. Then uh, C, determine the overall order for the reaction. Same, half a mark. Then D, calculate the value of the rate constant. For the reaction.
one half mark. Let's see how this question is gone about. Let's see how this question is gone about. Now, um, here, you need to be smart by looking at, uh, you need to be smart by looking at what you're having and how you're going. By looking at what you're having, you can easily see what you're not having. Now, if they say, state the order of reaction with respect to X and Y, if you have to begin with X, you can see in experiment, in experiment one, the concentration was 0 0.2. In experiment two, the concentration was 0 0.4. In experiment three, the concentration was 0 0.8. Okay. Now, you can really see that here in experiment two and three, the concentration of X was changing, okay? While the concentration of X was, of Y was constant. We said that here, what you, the order you need, you should look at those experiments where the concentration is changing and then the other one must be constant. So Y is constant at this, with these experiments, while here it is changing. Now, meaning that here concentration has been doubled from 0 0.4 to 0 0.8, okay? And you can see that when you double this, if you want to know the effect of doubling, you can try dividing here. You can divide 5.6 exponent negative three divided by 1.4. You'll see that it has been multiplied by four, okay? So you can really tell that considering experiment two and three, by doubling the concentration of X, while you're keeping the concentration of B of Y constant, okay? The rate multiplies by four. How do you get it? By getting the ratio to see, is it doubling? Is it trebling? Is it quadrupling? Something like that. So by doubling the concentration, this one quadruples. It gets multiplied by, by four, meaning that, meaning that the order with respect to X is a two, the order with respect to X is a two, because we said that for second order reactions, doubling the concentration of the reactant quadruples the initial rate, or it multiplies the initial rate by four. Therefore, for part A, the order of reaction with respect to X is two. B, no, Roman two, that was Roman two. Roman two, let's look at the order of reaction with respect to, the order of reaction with respect to Y. Now, uh, when you double, the concentration of X and Y, okay? Of course, remember here, the concentration of X and Y, the moment you double the concentration of X and Y, the rate will multiply by four. Therefore, with respect, the order with respect to Y is, uh, the order with respect to Y is going to be Zero. You have to note that we already know the effect of X. You already know that by doubling X, what are the rate? Well, no, you need to know that by doubling X, okay, the rate will multiply by four. Now, the combined effect of doubling concentrations of X and Y is similar to that effect that would be caused when you consider the X alone. 
we conclude that Y has zero effect on the rate of reaction. Because there you're not going to look at the factor that this one is changing, but this one is constant because we don't have anywhere where X is constant. Those ones who come from Uganda, this question has ever appeared in one of the papers. It was 2018, question number one of paper one. So there is no way where you're going to compare and you see, hey, this is constant, but this one is changing. Yes, well, it is changing here and here, but these ones are not changing. So it has no any effect to the rate of reaction and therefore zero, or than zero. Now, when they want you to write the equations, rather to, to, to explain the reasons or to give a reason. However, I'm going to give a, an example where we are going to see it changing. So from that point, we are going to, to, to deduce very well. Hmm? We are going to deduce very well. Um, but simply by, by looking at this, by looking at what we have suggested, you realize that, remember, the reason is, is was taking two marks, I remember. So for that part of giving the reasons, we are going to consider, okay? We are going to consider experiment two and three, okay? So we say when, the concentration of X is doubled. When you double the concentration of X while keeping concentration of Y constant, Okay, the rate, we've seen that the rate here multiplies by four. And when the rate multiplies by four, then you conclude that the order of reaction with respect to X, you write words with respect to X, is two. Then now, after getting that order, now you look at X and Y. Rather, you look at for Y. Here, you're doubling the rate. Okay, so you'll say, again, when, that is another marking point, the space is limited, but uh, I'm going to continue, but you can make it in a different paragraph. When, the concentration of X and Y is doubled. The rate multiplies by four. Therefore, the, the rate of reaction the order of reaction with respect to Y is zero. Okay. Since the combined effect of doubling the combined effect of doubling uh, is similar to the effect caused by X alone or caused by X alone. Now, here you are not comparing basing on keeping the constant, uh, keeping the uh, varying the concentration here, then keeping a constant because it is not possible. 
So we take, we are taking its effect, okay? We are taking its effect as zero to the rate of reaction. So we are going to do very many examples so that we get used to this work. Um, determine the overall order, that is part C, overall order. We said that overall order is the sum of the orders. So we have two plus zero, which is two. Then finally, they want us to, part D, they want us to calculate the value of the rate constant. So rate is going to be equaling to K X raised to power two times Y raised to power zero. So the rate is going to be k x squared, k x squared. Now, they said that, so you are going to pick any, you're going to pick any, you can pick this, where the rate, they want us to get the rate constant, so we can pick this, and we can pick the, the we can pick one experiment and we use it. So we shall have 3.5 times 10 to the power negative four is equals to rate constant K times the concentration of X 0 0.2 then squared. So it means that for this particular case, the rate constant K is going to be 3.5 times 10 exponent negative four out of 0 0.2, everything squared. So you'll get your K as, Put on a calculator, um, it's going to be 8.75 times 10 to the power negative three. So that is the rate constant. But you need it to determine the units because you need to determine the units. Uh, the units are if you look at this, this is uh, moles per decimeter cubed, meaning when you square it, it will be moles squared decimeter power negative six. Okay, then you're dividing it by moles per second. So we have moles per second divided by moles power two decimeter power negative six. So it is going to be, this one will move up, so it will be per mole decimeter power negative, decimeter power six, then per second. So it will be per mole decimeter six per second. So that is what we have for the first example. Let me bring out the second example and we see how to master it very well. I want to see how we master it very well. Our example number two, I'm going to bring in a, a question that has something much to talk about now. Um, the following results were obtained for two compounds A and B. reacting to give product C. So we have experiment. We have initial concentration of A. We have concentration of B.
and then we also have the initial rate. Experiments, we have one, two and three. Here we have 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, 0 0.48, 2 0 0.0 times 10 to the power negative 4. Eight point zero exponent negative 4. 2.88. Exponent negative two. Uh, deduce part A, deduce the rate equation. Part B, catch the rate constant. And state its units. So the rate constant and state its units. So that is what we are having, and uh, it can really easily be done. It can easily be done. Um, now, looking at this question, for you to deduce the rate equation, you need to first be having orders of reaction. So um, one can do this in two different ways. And the first way is to calculate the orders mathematically. So we shall let order of reaction with respect to A, maybe BX, and the one with respect to B, we can say let it be Y. So now, it means that the rate is equals to K, if I'm trying the rate equivalent is rate of K into a raised to its appropriate power x times b raised to its appropriate power y. So we shall need to get the values of x and y so that we get a final answer. Now, what happens is, <clears throat> what happens is uh, for this case, uh, we, we are going to consider if we are to begin with the, with the A, if you are to get concentration, if you are to get, because you have to come up with the two equations so that you deduce. Now with A, we shall consider where A is changing. All right. While B is, keep, is kept constant. And for this case, um, B is constant in experiments one and two, while this one is changing. So for experiment one, we have the, the, the rate as 2.0 times 10 to the power negative four is equals to K times the concentration of A, but the concentration of A is 0 0.2 raised to the power X, then times the concentration of B, the concentration of B is 0 0.24 and is raised to the power Y, okay? 
Then for experiment B, rather experiment two, we have 8.0, exponent negative four is equals to K, 0 0.4, then Y, no, 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 X, then times 0 0.24, Y. So here we can easily divide if this is equation one and this is equation two. We can divide equation one and two. So when you divide equation one and two, this one will go one divided by two. This one is going, while well also the k's are going. So we shall have a uh, 2.0. Okay, we divide two and one because it's the greatest. Uh, so we shall have 8.0 times 10 exponent negative four out of 2.0 times 10 to the power negative four is equals to 0 0.4 uh, to the power X divided by 0 0.2 to the power x. Now, when you look at this, uh, this is the same as four. When you divide this one here, you get four is equals to, when you divide this one here, you're going to get two to the power x. So the four is the same as two squared, and therefore two squared is equals to two power x. Therefore, x is equals to two by comparing with the powers. Now, when you look at X as which means that the rate of the order of reaction, the order of reaction is two for that case. Now, if you consider, even here, there is no constancy eh? or there is no consistency in, in any of the values of, of A. So here we can pick Experiment two, uh, uh, where this B is changing, that is experiment two and three. So we can consider two and three. If you consider experiment two and three, you'll have eight. For experiment two, you'll have 8.0 as rate. Remember, we're substituting in two rate is equals to K, concentration of A to the power X, concentration of B to the power Y. So we're going to have 8.0 exponent negative four is equals to K, concentration of X, which is 0 0.2, which is 0 0.4, sorry. You have already gotten the, 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 the value of X, which is two. Then times the one of B, concentration of B, that is 0 0.24 Y. Then also, when you consider the third equation, you have 2.88 times 10 to the power negative four is equals to K into 0 0.6 here squared times 0 0.48 to the power Y. When you divide still two by one, this is equation my, my equation one, my equation two, if you divide, Second equation by the first equation, you're going to have two point, so it will be 2.88 times 10 to the power negative four divided by 8.0 times 10 to the power negative four is equals to, case will go. So this one is this value is here. If case go, you have 0 0.16 and 0 0.36, when you divide 0 point, when you divide 0 0.36 by 0 0.16, you're going to have 2.25 times when you divide these two, you have two, because 0 0.48 by 0 0.24 is two to the power y. Now, looking at this, this one here, this fraction gives you 16, is equals to, by dividing this one here, you're going to get two to the power y. So uh, that one gives you 
uh, 16 is the same as 2 power 4 is equals to 2 power y. And therefore, your y is 4. So after getting the value of y, we are going to deduce the rate equation by substituting those values into this equation. So our rate is going to be k, concentration of a raised to its order, which is a 2, and concentration of b raised to its order, which is 4. As simple as that. Then when they say calculate the rate constant, calculate the rate constant, you can pick, you can pick any experiment. Let's consider experiment one. From experiment one, uh, the question remember it is the rate constant. So here, the, the constant K from that equation is going to be rate over concentration of A raised to the power two times concentration of B raised to the power four. You substitute. If you consider experiment one, it means that your rate is 2.0. Your concentration of A is this, your concentration of B is this. So you are going to substitute in those values and then get the answer. But what I want to show you is how we come up with the units. Let me look at it from here units of the rate constant for that very number. When I'm to deduce the units of this rate constant, I'll look at my equation. The rate, the rate is in moles, decimeter cubed per second, out of um, moles per decimeter cubed per second, out of concentration of S squared. So concentration of S squared will be moles square decimeter power negative three times another, this is power four now. So it will be moles power four decimeter uh, for this case of power four, we shall have um, decimeter power four, uh, it was moles per decimeter cubed, but we are multiplying, so it will be 12. Okay, it is going to be 12. So when you work on these units here, uh, this is moles square, moles square. Okay. Uh, so it will be moles power six, down, down we have moles power six, then decimeter power negative 15. So when these units move up, moles power six, decimeter power negative 15. When they move up, it will be moles power negative six. It's going to be moles power negative six. It will find their mole. Then decimeter power negative three, which is up, a decimeter power negative 15 to move up, so it will be decimeter power 15. Then per second. Implying that it is going to be moles, because this is power one, it's going to reduce this, so it will be moles power five, all right? Moles power five, then decimeter power 12, so this is 15 plus negative three. So decimeter power 12, then per second. Decimeter power 12, then per second. So uh, that is it that we can get. That is it that we can get, right? Let me do another example. Let me do another example. We need to do many examples here to be safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
uh, decomposition of nitrogen five oxide, that is nitrogen pentoxide, gave the following kinetics data. Uh, we have concentration of nitrogen dioxide in moles per decimeter cubed. Then here we have the initial rate. Initial rate is in moles decimeter cubed. Then per second, moles decimeter cubed per second. So uh, the question, uh, rather the values we are having here, we shall have 1.6 times 10 power negative three. And here we shall have 2.4 times 10 to the power negative three. And then finally 3.2 times 10 to the power negative three. The initial rate we are having 0.12. 0 0.18 and then X. Okay. So for this case, um, determine the order of reaction. And also find X. So now to determine the order of reaction, even one can easily really see that uh, uh, when the concentration of, when the concentration of nitrogen five oxide, is halved when the concentration is halved because now when you look at uh, 1.6 and 3.2 hmm, let's see let's let's see if you look at those values i can see using my, I can check using my calculator here. Zero point one eight divided by zero point one two. Mm -hmm. Two point four divided by one point six. Now, you can really see that here, when the concentration of nitrogen dioxide is reduced by a half, because it is 2.4 and here it is 1.6, that is, it has been reduced by a half. Even this one here is reduced by a half. Okay, you can really see that. When you get, you can see it by getting 2.4 exponent three, you divide it by zero, by 1.6 exponent three. You get, sorry, sorry, it is, it is multiplied by 1.5, all right? The same applies here, but to avoid all that kind of prediction, calculate it, you can see that, you can let, because they want you to determine the order of reaction. So let the order of reaction 
since it is only one reactant, you can say let it be maybe W. So our rate is going to be equaling to <clears throat> concentration of nitrogen five oxide to the power W. Of course, here there is a constant. <clears throat> now, when you consider this from one, you have 1.6 exponent negative three is equals to K, concentration of nitrogen five oxide, which is 0 0.12, the power W. Then you also have 2.4 exponent negative six, three, sorry, is equals to K times the concentration 0 point oh I beg your pardon I'm using different values I beg your pardon <laughs> so the rate the rate is this side okay the rate is this side So, mm, actually, this was supposed to be the rate. Uh, I think I'm the one who has made a, a mistake. This is supposed to be the rate of reaction. This value is here. Uh, for the rate, or oh, this value is here for the concentration. The source of the question is the one which is, which has given me a doubt. So uh, then now this one, this substitution is right. 1.6 exponent negative three is equals to K 0 0.12 W, then 2.4 exponent negative three is equals to K 0 0.18 power W. Now, <clears throat> you can divide these equations. You divide two by one, you're going to have your 2.4 exponent negative three out of 1.6 exponent negative three is equals to K 0 0.18 power W out of K, 0.12 power w so um this one here this one is here when you divide this it will be 1.5 is equals to uh the case will cancel and this one will also be 1.5 power w when you divide here so this is like 1.5 power one. So when you compare, our W is one. So the order of reaction with respect to nitrogen five oxide is one. So if you have to find the value of X in that part two, you can consider these two equations. You can consider two and three, and then you do the same. So for two and three, since we've already gotten the order, if you consider two and three, remember still rate is equals to K, nitrogen five oxide. So our rate from equation two is 2.4 exponent negative three. You should always be specific with which experiments you consider. And say considering two and three. So it will be, this one is equals to K, uh, whereby my K is in. I don't know it. Nitrogen dioxide there is 0 0.18, actually nitrogen five oxide. Uh, w, which I already know. So it is going to, this value of W I've gotten it as one. I already know it. So also, let me substitute, let me go with it. Then also when you consider this equation down, it's going to be 3.2 exponent negative three is equals to K 
times zero point eh, times x to the power one. So when you divide two and one, we're going to get three point two exponent negative three out of two point four exponent negative three is equals to the case we will go. So you have x over zero point one eight. You will cross multiply so that you have the value of x as 0 0.18 times 3.2 exponent negative 3 out of 2.4 exponent negative 3. So you're going to get your value of x as, uh, let me put on the calculator, 0 0.18, <laughs> oh, 0 0.24. You get your 0 0.24. Indeed, you can see the moment you see the value outside what you have, if you get like 100, just know there is a problem. So that is how we can do it. Let me do one more example. There are very many examples that I can do, but uh, I have to also let you practice. So let me do one more. I'm going to do one more example, and then I let you practice most of the questions, okay? Um, This one is X and Y. Reacts to form W and Z. We have X gas. That's why gas is an equilibrium reaction. So W gas and Z gas. The table below shows the rates. of reaction when various concentrations of X and Y were used. So we are having experiment Concentration of X concentration of Y. Then the rate Um, experiments one, two, and three. This is 2.0 times 10 to the power negative two. 2.0 times 10 to the power negative two. 4.0 times 10 to the power negative two. 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 2, 2.0 times 10 to the power negative 2, and then 2.0 times 10 to the power negative 2. 1.0 times 10 to the power 2, uh, 2.0 times 10 to the power 2, 
and 4.0 times 10 to the power two. The first question is, determine the order of reaction with respect to X and Y. Order of reaction with respect to X and Y. Let's begin with the respect to X. Now, you come and see where X is changing and where Y is constant. X is changing here, while Y is constant. So we can consider experiments two and three using two and three. Uh, we know that red is equals to K times concentration of A, then concentration of X. Let me let it be N. So red with respect to X, the order with respect to X, X is N. So it will be power N, then, and of y, let me let it to be m. Okay, so uh, it will be y, then power m. Now, using equations, using experiments two and three, the rate at two is two exponent two, is equals to k, Concentration of X, that is 2.0. Then times concentration of Y, which is the same, 2.0, exponent negative 2 power M. Then for this part of equation three, you can also determine the same to be the rate, which is four exponent two, is equals to K. Concentration of X to be four exponent negative two, times the one of Y, which is two exponent negative two. Since these ones are constant, when you divide two by one, these ones are going to cancel. K is going to cancel. So we shall have four exponent two out of two, exponent two is going to be equal to four exponent negative two out of two exponent negative two. Everything to the power n because they have the same power. So when these ones are reduced, it will be two is going to be equal to, uh, this one here is going to be two also to the power N. So this is like to the power one, thus N is going to be equaling to one. And therefore the order of reaction with respect to X is one. The same procedure happens when you're reducing the order with the respect to, to Y. With respect to Y, you're going to consider the experiments where the concentration of X is constant and the one of Y is changing. So the concentration of X is constant within experiment one and two. We are considering experiments one and two, all right? So the concentration of X is constant, the one of Y is changing. Because we're interested in Y, remember the rule is you consider those experiments where the concentration of what you're looking for is varying or is changing, while the concentration of the other is heavily constant. So when you look at these experiments here, it means that now uh, this one, 
is constant, even if one does not look at it. So uh, allow me to say, if we consider experiments one and two, okay? If we consider experiments one and two, and we divide, it is going to be, I'm um, going to, I'm um, discarding all these steps. I want, because we've done many examples, I expect us at least to, to see how it comes about. Okay, but anyway, if you consider experiment one and two, remember you substitute in this equation of rate. So it is going to be rate of one and two. So for one, you have 1.0, exponent two is equals to K times concentration of X, that is 2.0 exponent negative two, raised to the power X, which you already written as one, times the one of Y, which is 1.0 exponent negative two, raised to the power M. Then another one for, for, for experiment two, you will have, 2.0 exponent two is equals to concentration of A, 2.0 times 10 to the power negative two raised to the power one because we already got in the order times 1.0, no, 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 2.0 times 10 to the power negative two to the power M. When you divide, if this is equation one and this is equation two, when you divide one and two, these ones will cancel. Okay, so when you divide one and two, we are going to have, let's divide two by one, two by one, we are going to have 2.0 exponent two over 1.0 exponent two is equal to two exponent negative two over one exponent negative two everything to the power m. So this is two here. When you divide this, you get two power one. It's going to be equal to, when you divide this, we will get two to the power m. By comparing, we're going to get your m as one and you conclude that therefore, the order of reaction with respect to y is also one. Part two, they want us to write an expression for the rate equation, rate equation. Rate equation will be rate is equals to, mm -hmm. it will be rate is equals to K, concentration of A raised to the appropriate power, which is one, I may not show it, then times B, oh, we are dealing with X and Y. So it will be X to the power one and Y also to the power one. So that is how the rate equation is it expresses all its contents are the rate constant and the concentrations of the variables that you have. So that is it. And that is how we do it. Now, if they want you to calculate the rate constant, if they want you to calculate the rate constant, you pick, you pick a, an experiment. You can pick this experiment and you get your rate constant K. K is equals to the rate out of concentration of X times concentration of Y. The rate is this, concentration of X is this, concentration of Y is this, you substitute. Don't forget the units. Never should you forget the units because the units like for the rate here is moles, decimeter cubed per second. While the ones when you divide is moles per decimeter cubed, moles per decimeter cubed, meaning it's more square, decimeter power negative six. So when you move it up, it, will, it is going to be moles power negative two, but it will find a positive one here, per moles power one. So it is going to become moles per mole. Then this decimeter power, Negative six, when it moves up, it will be positive and finds a negative. So it will be decimeter or negative three, then per second. As simple as that.
actually moles power three, uh, rather decimeter power three, not per decimeter. Because it will be moles power six, decimeter power six, when it moves up, it will be power six positive, and you find a negative three, which will make it a three only. So that is how we do. All oh, right, 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 right. I'm going to give you a brain check question for all of us to do. But as I've told you, you can as well deduce, you can as well deduce the orders by looking at the experiment, by keeping this constant, the other one doubled, by keeping, rather by, by having this, the other one would have to also. By doubling this, the other one also got doubled. So still using the other table I have uh, put, still one can do a question. So this is a question to all viewers. This is a question to all viewers. And uh, let me call it a brain check. To see if we have understood the result shown refers to the oxidation of bromine ion. Bromide ion by bromate ion in acidic medium. So we're going to have five bromide ions. Plus a bromate ion in acidic medium. We shall form bromine and water. So we have four experiments here. Uh, let me see how many experiments I can consider. Okay. We have a bromide ion concentration. Then we have bromide ion concentration. Then we have hydrogen ion concentration. Then we have initial rate. Experiment one. Have experiment two. Have experiment three, and then experiment four. Experiment one here we have zero point one zero. Zero point one zero. Zero point two zero. Point one zero. One zero. Two zero. Two zero. One zero. One zero, one zero, one zero, two zero. One point six exponent negative three. Three point two exponent negative three. That is the data we are having for experiments. 
Mm. Initial rate is in moles per decimeter cubed per second. A find the order of reaction with respect to bromide iron, bromate iron, hydrogen iron B. State the overall order. C. Write the rate equation. D. Catch the value. Of the rate constant. the value of the rate constant and the state its units. Then E, calculate the rate calculate the rate of reaction when a concentration of all the three reactants is 0 0.2 moles decimeter power negative. So that is the question we are having. For us to try, you can comment after doing it. You can make sure that uh, you get the answer. And if you get challenged, you comment. On the comment there, you put, I will, I will be there very much variable to take you through just in case you have not uh, gotten it right. Uh, for those ones, these questions are very, very, very common and we shall keep discussing them. Now, in our next video, we shall look at the factors that affect the rate of reaction. Factors that affect the rate of reaction is our next area. I wish you the best as we wait for that.